Hello, fashion lovers. Okay, welcome back to First Time Adventure. Today we'll be drafting how to put a yoke in a dress. Okay, here is a piece of paper, and then I'll put the major lines, major measurements on the paper that we need for the bodies. The first one we need is the breast points and the breast point I have here is nine nine inches and then on the bust I have 13 inches and the half length I have 16 inches okay so I've drawn it let me label it breast point on the bust and the waistline okay so the next thing is the the ankle length which is eight so the next thing i measure the neckline the neckline the shoulder is a 15 15 divided by two that's seven and a half plus half i have eight i've already marked my eight here okay so i mark the eight through so that i can connect it to the Ammo length, okay. Connect it to the ammo length. Okay. So the next thing is the uh, the slanting shoulder. You know, my shoulder is slanting, so I put one inch and I draw it. Okay. I will be using a round sleeve <clears throat> because I'm going to insert is a yoke. If you like, I put your the neck measurement there now. If you like, leave it all the same. Let's still put it. We have three inches wideness and the depth of the three and a half. I connect it so I can bring the shape of the neck out. I'll be going for cough. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do is, <coughs> excuse me, the darts. I'm going to put the inside the darts. The, this breast span is seven inches divided by two. I have seven. I have three point five plus. So in allowance, I have four. So I mark my four. Mark my four on the bus. I mark my four. So the next thing I do is I connect them together. They are creating the dots, and because it's paper, so I have to show us how to cut the dots. So the dots we need to tape in about an inch, so half to this side. Have to decide on your measurement. So the next time we connect it together, connect it to this point, connect it to this point. So that is our duct. Okay, from the press point. So the next thing, if it's on a plot now. You put a notch here, notch this place. So I need the the apple. That's my apple. So the next thing we we cut it out. Let's cut it before we think of the. Uh, let's get the body out before we think of inserting the yoke. So the next thing I start from this place, cut it through. Sorry, be bit sorry before we cut it out. Let's get the measurement of the bodies first. So the boss is a 36. 36 divided by 4. We have 9. Also in an hours we have a nine and a half. And the other boss is 31. 31 divided by 4. We have a, 
about eight, approximately eight. Also in allowance, eight point eight point three, because it's approximately eight. Okay, the waste is uh, thirty three divided by four. We have about eight point five. We sew in allowance, making it eight nine. So the next thing we connect them together. Okay. So we have to connect them before we start cutting. Sorry about that. So eh. So this is your dart, so you notch it, so we call the next circumference. So this is our half body, this is our half bodies, okay, so the next thing we want to cut the yolk. I'll be using the yolk, the sweetheart yolk. So you pick it from the about half of your. This is the main point we are going. So pick it here this way, and the next one this way. Now we twist it out. We are putting a yoke into our dress. So let's assume you have completed your our bodies this way. Put your dart, whatever you want to put, complete it. You know, I told us that we didn't need to hold that, but all the same, there's nothing wrong. So this is how the remaining our bodies will be. So I will be using a colored paper so that our you can come out very well. So place your the one you cut out of the main bodies on whatever you want to use for the yoke. Okay, let me just choose this one so that it can come out very well. So I place it with my marker. I've completed my tracing, so the next thing I'm going to cut out this shape. And then when I'm cutting it, I'm going to leave an allowance of about half an inch. That's what I will use to tape it in. So I will cut half an inch there. Okay, I press it out. The half an inch that's why I added is only needed underneath here. Because it's this one that is going to enter into the, the fabric of the bodice. Okay? You don't need extra half here. Yeah? You don't need extra half here. So this is our yoke is fixed. Don't you see that it's beautiful? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks. So let's go to the machine to fix it. And then, of course, if you're going to fix the back, the back doesn't need to go this shape. I use straight one for the back. So what do we do? You can put this on the paper, on the fabric for the back. You just cut the level of this place. You don't need to cut everything. So the back yoke is straight. While this one is there, Sweet hearts. Oh, thank you. Bye. The yoke can be fixed.
this is the front panel of the clothes and this is the back panel because what it needs now is thorough ironing to give it very hot press okay you can see inside the design with the stones okay by the time you give it a good ironing to come out beautifully isn't it lovely